Yo, what's good, y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a placement slash like build system and stuff like that. Before I get into that, I just want to say thank you guys for real for the 200 subscribers and stuff. I really appreciate it. We currently are at 201 subscribers, um, 15 Roblox group members, and 17, yeah, 17 Discord members and stuff. Links to join my Discord and Roblox group are in the description. Are in the description of course you guys can join the discord because i offer help or if you guys want to talk and show be supportive for the channel and stuff like that you guys can join all the links are in the description and stuff but yeah the, of course you already know for the 200 subscribers special you already know i had to give y'all something like intermediate level like something like i know a placement and build system is something like a lot of people want to know how to do but it's like it's a little bit intermediate like it's not as simple so it's like it would like be something like special like for example like 20, hitting 200 subscribers so yeah though but yeah uh I'm gonna get straight into it. Okay, so of course, like like I said, with anything that's like intermediate or advanced, I'm already do it before I make the video and stuff. Cause like, I'm be honest with y'all, like I spent like the last hour working on this and stuff like that. Cause I had never made a placement system. Like I just like used what I know and I just made and I just made this and stuff like that. So obviously, since I just made it now, like if I tried to delete, like if I delete everything and tried to make it like live with y'all, I probably would forget to do this and that, or forget to do this and there'll just be a whole bunch of errors and stuff so it just saves us a lot of time but anyway uh first things first you're gonna need uh two remote events so you just go over here click uh, the plus sign add a remote event then name one pl uh placement event then name the other one destroy event i could have kept them under one event but i chose to use two just for the sake of like let's keep placement and destroy like separate and stuff that's why you guys can see that's why you guys see placement like on one side here and then destroy or delete I should say delete on this other side here but yeah though okay so once you guys have that done then head over to server set, server script service well mm, yeah you guys head over there server script service insert a server script and name it placement script and then you guys are gonna want to make some variables you're gonna want to uh, make the placement event variable, the destroy event variable, which is game that replicates storage and the variables. Then you guys are also going to want parts. Like you're going to need to put parts into server storage, like a block, a cylinder, a spear, and a wedge. Like literally the block, spear, wedge, cylinder. I didn't do the corner wedge because like I don't really think people necessarily wanted that. If you do want that, you could literally just duplicate the button and then just change the stuff. It's really simple to just like add another thing if you wanted to add the corner wedge. If you need help with that, then just let me know in the comments. But yeah though. But yeah, so you would just add the parts in here. Make sure you anchor the part so that like they're able to just be placed and they'll like they'll just stay in one spot and stuff. Um, and yeah, just put them in server storage because we'll be cloning from uh, the server storage. But yeah, though. So you just make you just make those parts and then you would reference them. Game the server storage dot spear block cylinder and wedge. Then you would do placement event on server event. So when a person um has one, either block spear or wedge or cylinder selected. Uh, it fires their and like they left click while they have it selected it then fires the remote event and it sends over the player's name the part name and the position of their mouse so depending on the, the name of the part it'll um clone whatever part matches the name the part name in server storage that matches um the name of the part of the button they have selected if that makes sense pretty much if i have blocked if i have the block button selected and then I send the remote event over. It's going in a fire server, I should say. It's going to uh, clone the block from server storage and then place it where my mouse position is. And it's going to name the block um the player's name and uh and the word block and stuff to keep it organized so that you know like what like what type of part it is as well as who it belongs to. Especially since for especially it's important for destroying since you don't want to be able to. So you don't want players to be able to delete each other's parts. Rather, you just want them to delete their own parts. But yeah, once you have that done, then you want to do destroy event, which we just do destroy event that on server event and stuff like that. And then you would just do if the object name matches the player who uh, sent the server, uh, sent the server event or remote event, I should say. This whoever clicks the delete and then like try to delete something and stuff like that. You want to make sure it matches uh, one of these names because uh, you don't want it. You don't want them to be able to literally delete like any object in the workspace and stuff like that because then they could just delete your whole map and well it wouldn't like affect the game altogether but still though it would just delete stuff so yeah so once you guys have that done like by the way like if i'm moving too fast or anything just a reminder the scripts will be in the description so y'all don't have anything to worry about but yeah though so then we go to server surge i already went through it but 
yeah, just some reminders. Uh, just make sure you name it, make sure you name all of them, and make sure you anchor all of them, and then yeah, you're good there. Then we head on over to Stutter GUI, my placement GUI, and then I have two frames. I have a placement frame over here. I have a UI grid layout inside of it and stuff like that. Here, here are the measurements you guys want it and stuff. So that, like it just makes it look more organized and stuff. But yeah, then we have our four buttons and stuff. So they all have this script inside of them, which is it's a little bit different for each one and stuff. The order is a little different. So pretty much there's a uh, variable that pretty much it lets me know that like block that block place is like able to be well actually actually now that I think about it I don't even need block place yeah I don't need to y'all don't need to put like local block place here local and then block place here y'all y'all honestly don't need that y'all really don't need that like if you want to just do it just follow along the video like it'll still work if you guys do just follow along with what you see right now but you don't you don't need it because yeah, because I had put it in before I had made some more edits to it. But anyway, though. Okay, so yeah, though. So when the player clicks the button, like block, for example, it's going to make the button green and then it'll make all other buttons red and stuff, right? Because the way the way this works, it identifies what you're like, what you're trying to do based on what button, like if one of the buttons uh, colors is green or not. That's how it is and stuff. Like if a player um left clicks, then it'll go to this line, which which then says if this button, which then says if this button is uh is green, because remember the default color is red. If this button is green, then it means uh what's it called? then it'll go if block place is true, but block place would already be true since they already clicked this button. But again, that doesn't matter. But anyway, it would fire the server, send over the part name, and the uh, mouse position and stuff. But yeah, though. But when I mean they're different, I mean like this, like how it changes. Uh, it makes sure like all the other buttons color are red and stuff, and only the button that you're selecting is green and stuff. That's what I mean. Like it'll look a little different there, and and stuff. And then you'll be changing like then obviously the name of the part you're sending over and stuff. But aside from that, like the scripts are pretty much the same. Aside from that, to be honest. So yeah, y'all can just you can just uh write it down or anything but it'll like like I said it'll be in the description and stuff but yeah so so that finishes off uh, replacement and then we have delete or destroy whatever you want to call it so it pretty much looks kind of similar to the other one before and stuff it changes other colors to red and it changes this one to green and then it runs through it make sure that the destroy button is uh green and then it'll fire server it'll mouse dot target which pretty much means whatever your mouse is like if your mouse is like pointing at an object like this I'm not pointing at object, but if I'm but here I'm pointing at the base plate or the uh, spawn location now. So so it would send that information over to the uh, server script and stuff, right? Because the server script is where everything happens and stuff. Because we obviously want every change to be on the server side and stuff. That's why we like have like where it, like it adds all the parts and destroys all the parts on the server side rather than just the client side. But yeah, though, and then it would check to make sure it matches the names and stuff just to check. But yeah, that's that's literally it, guys. The, that's it. Once again, all the scripts will be in the description. Of course, as always, I will click play and then show you guys, show you guys how like it works and stuff. Of course. So if I click block, then it C spawns in blocks, and then if you go to workspace, you'll see spider 19 and then space block. Yeah, and then if I go here, it'll spawn spear, and then you can see everything else is uh, what's it called is red except for the, what I have selected. Then if I click delete. I can delete as you can see I can't delete the base plate nor the uh, spawn location but I can delete any part that has my, my name and then the part name of course that's what it yeah though so that's how you make a placement slash build system and stuff hope this video was helpful once again thank you guys so much for all the support on the videos we hit 201 subscribers and stuff genuinely appreciate it let's let's run it up let's get 300 let's get 300 so you know what I'm saying stuff appreciate the support for real guys once again links to join my uh roblox group and discord are in the description and stuff if you guys need any help leave a comment down below or join the discord and ping or dm me and ask for help and stuff but yeah though hope y'all enjoyed and i'll see y'all